right, welcome back to the channel. All right, special video for you guys here today. Check this out. We are in a active construction zone and the cones are dictating where FSD is going to go. I've got nothing telling it to stay within the cones and not go on this line. And look how FSD is scooting to the right making sure that it stays in the line of traffic here. And look at this knockdown cone. Let's make sure FSD doesn't hit it, and it doesn't. Slight nudge it's asking me for. And let's see, we're continuing down through this like made up lane by the construction people here. And this is where it's gonna now officially be no lines. And look how FSD just went ahead and painted some made up lines right into the screen here which is really cool how I was able to do that I'm gonna put the windows up because I've got some dust kicking back up um, pretty cool another feature that that the Model Y offers is the biohazard mode which take a look I just put it on by selecting that button and now it's actually using the HEPA air filters and blocking out any air particles that are outside of the car and won't make it inside. As you can see, it's a lot of dust kicking up here from the cars around, and none of that will make it inside the vehicle with this HEPA air filter, which is really underrated feature that comes standard in the Model Y, and I think it even comes standard in the new Model 3. If I'm not mistaken, every new Tesla has a HEPA air filter. And uh, that is pretty remarkable because, you know, there was times where, you know, we had poor visibility due to fires and whatnot. And um, for whatever reason, you know, this air gets quality, you know, gets low. HEPA filter is the way to go. And just a phenomenal job getting me through Oh, I gotta make a right here. Let's see if it can figure it out last second. And it does, but it waits for this car. Oh, look at what it did. What an amazing job. And I didn't have anything in the nav, so I did it last second there, and it figured it out. It made the right for me. It did kind of a legal right, but you know what? I was gonna do it if, if the car didn't because I was yapping and I forgot where I needed to go, so. Thank God for FSD, did just a phenomenal job getting me through the construction area this morning. And uh, yeah, I have to say that HEPA air filter is really something that, that comes into play. But yeah, all in all, FSD working really good. Um, I know we've got this big Tesla vote coming up. I think the deadline is June 13th. I think June 13th is the day that they're gonna announce whether or not Elon has been awarded his salary or not. So just wanted to add this little tidbit in this video here, whether or not, if you're watching this and you are a shareholder, did you vote? Now, I don't care how you voted. I just wanna know if you were granted the opportunity to vote. And I think that's really important. So. However people vote, wow, it got really cold in here with this HEPA air filter. I'm gonna turn it off now because it got freezing in in like a few minutes, just like really quickly. But yeah, anyways, um, you should have received an email if you are a shareholder. I think the rules were, if you were holding the shares like April 15th, 2024. And if you were holding any shares that day, then you should receive an email on whether or not you're gonna cast a proxy vote. Um, and that means that I think, if I'm not mistaken, comment below, that means that your shares are being held by a bank and they're actually gonna cast the vote for you, so you have to cast it with them. And there was like seven, I think maybe seven to 11 questions on the list there. Um, the first two are like, they want to appoint new people to the board. One of them I know is Rupert Murdoch's son. 
who was the CEO of 21st Century Fox and now is sitting on the board of Tesla. So that's the first person that, you know, however you feel about him, if you want to vote for or against. The next person is Kimball Musk. And I think that is Elon Musk's older brother, um, who I actually follow on Twitter and just put out a really cool uh, cookbook with all of his Southern style Texas recipes. Um, but then again, there's um, interesting questions like whether or not they want to reincorporate in Texas or Delaware, which I think is interesting because I know a lot of companies decide to incorporate in Delaware because of tax reasons for whatever. I don't really understand, but and then of course the pay salary. Does Elon deserve the pay? So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think really fantastic job with fsd this morning here just no issues whatsoever um really nice job and uh let's see we are really close to my destination here and i want to see if we can even slide in an auto park to end the video here so yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got 12.4 coming in this weekend, according to Elon. And uh, be sure to subscribe so you can see all of the cool updates with the steering wheel nag being removed and whatnot. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. And make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe for more. And let's see if we can pop in one of these spots here and as soon as you see that auto park come up you just select the spot that you want hit the p and then stop the car and then automatically the blue button will pop up and just select it let's see how long it takes i mean in comparison to me shifting it in reverse and going back um it's pretty much like a difference of five seconds maybe if that fsd does a really good job about parking now as you can see here perfectly parked hit that like button if you did enjoy this video make sure you subscribe for more thanks again for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day